It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe Photoshop for Fashion Quick Tip. Today's tip answers a question that I've been asked many times in the past and an issue that I have often encountered as well as a designer. How do I create a quick repeat? I don't need it to be perfect. I just need it to look good enough to show in a sketch. So today I'm going to show you a two-step method. The first step is to use a filter called offset and the second is to use a new fill option called content aware. So we're going to start with the first step after you've opened your print and you're going to go to the filter menu. You're going to go down to other and then offset. And what you're trying to do is move the edges of your print to the center so that you can see the seam that you have to fix. So everything now, once you offset around the edges will be in repeat and all you need to do is fix the seams in the middle. Also, when you're doing offset, you want to make sure that this option wrap around in undefined areas is selected. So we're going to hit OK. Now, I'm going to use the lasso tool. You can use any of the selection tools, but I like to use the lasso tool. And I'm going to make a selection around the area that I want to change. You want to try and make the selection kind of tight. You don't want it to be huge. It doesn't need to be exactly edge to edge, but you don't want to make it huge. Once I make my selection, I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to choose fill. And from contents, I'm going to choose use content aware. And what this function does is it makes Photoshop aware of the surrounding, the elements that are around your selection and creates a seamless fill that kind of blends the selection with its surrounding areas, with the content around it. So once I hit OK, we're going to see this blend into a really nice um, pattern. I'm going to do the same thing with the vertical seam. And again, make it pretty tight, doesn't need to be exact. Right mouse click, go to fill, and again choose content aware. And deselect, and it looks pretty good. There's a few areas that I might want to just fix up a little tiny bit, so I'm going to use the clone stamp to take out a few stragglers. And again, you don't need this to be exactly perfect. It just needs to look random enough that you can get this into a sketch. So from here, I'm going to go to edit and define my pattern. So I'll save it into the pattern swatches. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to switch over to my dress that I want to put this into. So I'm going to go into my layers. I'll create a selection and it's going to be the entire dress. So I'm going to bring my cursor over top of the thumbnail of the layer with the sketch in it. I'm going to hold my control or command key if you're on a Mac, click down and it will make a selection for me edge to edge of that particular item that's in that layer. From here, I'm going to go down to the icon at the bottom of the layers panel that is for my fill and adjustment layers. And I'm going to choose pattern. And this is going to create a new pattern fill layer. It will automatically default to the last pattern that you saved. So all I'm going to do now is change the scale and make it smaller so that it's more proportional to the size of the sketch. And I think that looks pretty good. With adjustment layers, the great thing is if you feel like it's a little too big or too small, you can always go back and readjust. You would just double click on the thumbnail and go back in and readjust as you need to. And then the last thing I'm going to do with this pattern fill layer so that it blends a bit more with what's underneath, I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. So you've got this print now that 
looks pretty random. It's not a perfect repeat, but it is random enough that it doesn't look like it's boxy and it's perfect to show on a board for a presentation. So that's your quick tip for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.